Now this part of the question, we already know that f of x equals 1 over x plus 1, but we're given a new function, g of x equals 2x squared minus 3. And this function is valid for any real number. x is any real number. And we're asked to find out the values of x, which we make fg of x equal 1 eighth. Now in order to solve this, what we need to do is simplify the left hand side. So we have fg of x is really the same as f of g of x. So g of x is 2x squared minus 3, so pop that in bracket there. And this equals 1 eighth. Now f of 2x squared minus 3 means that we need to replace any x in f of x with 2x squared minus 3. So there's only the 1x here in this particular example, so therefore what we have is 1 over x, which is now replaced with 2x squared minus 3, so 2x squared minus 3, and then we need to add that 1 on the end. And this equals 1 eighth. So at this point, I just want to tidy the denominator up here. So we have 1 over 2x squared minus 2, and that equals the 1 eighth. And now what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 2x squared minus 2 and 8. So what that gives me is, therefore, we have 8 equals 2x squared minus 2. If I add 2 to both sides now, we have 10 equals 2x squared, and then divide both sides by 2 gives me x squared is 5. So if I take the square root now to both sides, we end up with the answer that x equals plus or minus the square root of 5. And I know that it can be plus or minus, that these are valid values because x, first of all, can be any real number. But if you were to put plus root 5 into here, what you get is 2 times root 5 squared, which is 2 times 5, which is 10, and 10 take away 3 is 7. And I can pass 7 into f of x because you we may remember that this function was defined purely for x greater than 3. And so we can pass 7 into this, that's quite okay. If I have x is minus root 5, if I was to square minus root 5, that's 5 again, 2 times 5 is 10, take away 3 is 7, so still I'm okay. x has to be a number greater than 3 to be passed into this function. So that means that x is equal to plus or minus then the square root of 5. And that brings us now to the end of this question.